Hey guys, what it's up? It's Ivy and it's been a long time since I actually made a game review. Yeah, now I have a, a avatar, but I will change this avatar so it will be different. So, yeah, I haven't been making this because I'm trying to save up for new equipment even though, yeah, it's been kind of hard, but I'm doing my best on Twitch and on YouTube now that I got my PC back because after my marathon I had some issues with it and it went to Pop uh, Czech Republic I think it's how it's said but yeah my baby went there and he traveled more than me apparently uh, okay so yeah let's get started with the game review okay so after playing this game for like 500 uh, 500 hours not 500 times 500 hours yeah i think it deserves my review yeah i got addicted to persona 3 in other words shinigami tensei persona 3 portable even though i have the option with the mail i don't think i will play it after i watch the anime i refuse to let anyone die but me and honestly even though i have so many games on steam and a few games now on my playstation 3 in case you didn't know i got the playstation 3 yay so yeah that's another thing i've been playing a lot little bit planet and stuff like that that i like to play basic stuff and fun stuff but first of all i have to thank everyone for your support because it's thanks to you that the channel is growing and i'm having a lot of fun so thank you every single one of you my current subscribers my new subscribers if you are new to the channel and yeah potential new subscribers i'm okay if you don't follow really as long as you say hello in my streams either on twitch or either in youtube i appreciate very much for your support being here means a lot to me and speaking of persona 3 the one i played and the one i have on my let's play list did you know it was actually my second playthrough on Persona 3 Maniac? Because I kinda goofed when it comes to requests, to theater requests. And for some reason I forgot to give the fourth uh, journal and I was like, no, I wanna do this 100% and I restarted all over again and that's when I got so many shadows golden shadows and i got the special items for everyone so yeah it was the second run and yeah i made it a hundred percent because i wasn't aiming but when i got it i you know what let's do a hundred percent because why not why not because i got lucky that time so let's talk about the actual game shall we Shin Megami Tensei is a role-playing game developed by Atlus, originally released in Japan in 2006. Tess, one year later. You know, the one that you play with, I guess. So, yeah, I didn't have that. Although Atlus could make a um, remastered version of Persona 3 Portable. I would like that, to be honest. I'd like to play... Even though I don't like I guess I would like to see how the game would roll if the um, character was a female and not the male. I don't know if I can say Makoto or Minato because I know both of them. No, Makoto is on the anime Makoto Yuki and on the game is Minato Arisato. 
and the female is Minaka Warisato. So they might be twins or something. But yeah, Fez was released one year later of the main game with the male because female was after. Actually, it was released in 2009. Huh, that explains why the game is in 2009. Ah? Ah? Directed and produced by Katsure Hashino, a person who loved the story written by Yoshiro Tanaka. No, I'm not gonna say Tanaka show. No, no, we, we are not gonna do that. For the female version side of the story. Because I think the male version is kinda depressing. Let's be honest, it is kinda depressing. I originally saw this game for PS2 with a male version a long time ago, but never gave too much credit back then. But, did you know that Choji Meguro made the two soundtracks? One for the male and one for the female. Did you know? They are different. You know, they kind of tricked me the first time I faced the shadows. I was starting to go like, baby, 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 you know how the male version goes and the female doesn't. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to get wrecked. I really loved playing the female version, not only it's different, because, not because you are a girl, but because the story goes different. Uh, for example, Junpei hates you because you are a girl, and on the male it's because you, he thinks that you're taking all the girls for him, yourself. So... Yeah, that's, that's not it. Oh, you're a girl, you can't be powerful. Oh, you're a guy, you think you're better than me? You're just as male as I am. You know, that kind of thing. Junpei kind of gets mad at you for no reason. And Mitsuru gets pissed at you. You have a problem that she's a girl? Because if you have, I'm going to punish you. I don't need to go that far, Mitsuru. No, 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 it's okay. And specifically, there is one character that dies if you're a male, you can't save him. But if you're a female, he falls in love with you and you can save him. So that's a bonus for that character. So he thinks I can save him, that's why I refuse to play with male. Anyway, not only that, but you can, you know, have some... Mm -hmm, you know what I mean? You have some with the guys. Especially, no, I think you can go with three of them, but I just know for sure you can go with two. So, the two best characters in the game. Male characters. So, you figure that out. I will say though, the English version was fantastic. Even though my favorite male is Akihiko, for me, both Takaya and Theodore have the best voices and performance for that matter in the game. I'm sorry, they give so much passion to the characters that you go like, oh my god, I love this character. Really, they are absolutely fantastic. Just listen to this. You know the significance of today, do you not? You claim you hunt the shadows to prevent the disaster they bring, yet countless lives are lost each day without their intervention. <sighs> the power we wield is not itself evil. You cannot deny that. So why don't you just admit it? You do not wish to eliminate the dark hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves. Look within yourselves, and you shall see. You are indeed foolish children. Erasing the dark hours the same as erasing yourselves. <laughs> Is even that beyond your comprehension? As I believed, our goals are irreconcilable. Jin. Forget these maggots. Fate shall decide who will prevail. Come. 
So this is the Polonia Mall. Indeed, it's exactly as I imagined. Huh, I'm not that easily amused. Hmm, what is that over there? An aqueous duct in a place like this? Hmm, the dwellers of this world must get thirsty easily. Um, I know its true purpose, of course. Why, it's meant to wash one's hands. Um, <clears throat> it was only my small joke. Um, so, what is it actually for? A bit of scenery. I see. Hmm. And what, pray tell, is this facility here? Shigurami Shojima artwork is also amazing. The scenario, the characters, they are so much better in my opinion than in the anime. I didn't like the character designs in the anime. If I'm able to say that, I really didn't like them not because they look older i mean the only character that really really looks almost the same i have to say is chinchiro aragaki so yeah i have to say chinchiro is the character that looks uh just like the um, the one in the game so that's just my personal opinion about the character design on anime and game okay overall i think i spoke just about everything the characters the music the <clears throat> the game the gameplay is very basic i must say it's not like on playstation 2 it's not it's just a point more or less like a point and clicker game and you select the places where you want to go but guys i did a hundred percent in maniac mode i did hundred percent i defeated um theodore i defeated margaret i made all the quests for T theodore i did all the social links i saved everyone that was lost in Tartarus. I have all the weapons in the end of the game. I did everything on Maniac Mode after playing at least seven or eight times. I think this is the game that I play the most since, I don't know, Final Fantasy IX, back when I was 14. That was a long time ago guys, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, it was a long long time ago that I played it. So, break this game, I'm gonna say a 20 out of 10. Why? Because if I didn't play that much on a single game, I mean 500 hours in one game, Come on, I never did that in a game. I never did that. And I played over and over and over. And I cried. I mean, if I didn't like a game that much, I wouldn't waste my time playing that many times. And I cry all the time. The soundtrack is beautiful. And the game for me, I think it's the best game I played in my life I probably will have to play more games even though I played Tales of Symphonia and people were like oh my god this isn't amazing and I said oh I had fun this with this game but not as much fun as I did with Persona well a 20 out of 10 haha <laughs> uh, yeah I love that game so I'm sorry if I'm rambling now, but yeah, if you ever have the chance, if you only play the male version because, oh yeah, I'm a guy, um, I say 
go for it play the female version if you haven't already it's worth it you can save some characters i'll say that the soundtrack is different the story is different and it's not i mean for me it was sad and i had to change the ending because i really don't like i guess neither can those are my least favorite characters Mitsuru and Yukari are okay, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop, give this game a 20 out of 10, best game ever for me, and make sure you like, comment, fib, subscribe, please share the video with more people that will enjoy game reviews, and maybe, just maybe, just maybe, Uh, you have friends all the time you have to spend you can spend playing this game i'm now starting playing persona 4 so i hope to see you guys on my live stream on youtube like always guys and once again thank you for watching and like always take care bye bye